Okay, everybody, the time has now come for the foosball challenge. Turn earlier challenged me to foosball, yes. and here he is to try to claim his title in foosball. However, we have now turned this into a full-fledged tournament. Ashton over here mm. has challenged, and now Landon has challenged. Ava, are you challenging me to foosball as well? Yes. So, here we go. One, two, zero. Yes. As she scores early, uh, score here. Oh, that's a stunner! I scored on myself. Two to one with two more goals. Suddenly, I find myself in a two to one situation with Turin right now. I beat Turin 10 to 8. It was a great game, Turin. So, I move it on in the brackets. Now, Ashton and Landon are playing each other, and then the winner of that game will play me, and the loser of that game will play Turin. So, this is our tournament. Ava, Ava, Ava. Ava. Ava's always the winner, though. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ava. What you doing over here? <laughs> Just cooking up some dinner? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? All right, here we go. Twin versus twin. Here we go, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Whoa, Landon, whoa, look at this. Why am I so bad at this? No, do not back Glenn, you're twisting, you're kicking. Go! Oh. 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 Alright guys, it was a nail biter of a game. But in the end, Landon lost to Ashton. So, Landon and Turn are now going to play a game. We have decided to pull in doubles for this game. The teams are this, Landon and I versus Turin and Ashton. So this is Turin and Landon's game. This is for second place. Okay guys, so the game between Turin and Landon ended in a result of... Landon winning. However... That is because dad is the best. <laughs> the teams are a little bit lopsided. Yes. So, we are going to roll it a tie. But now the championship game will be played between myself against Turin, Ashton, and Landon. What? Oh yeah, baby. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. champion of foosball tournament today. <laughs> what do you cheer for down there, girl? Okay, guys. Lindsay has taken off on a girls' night with Mindy and Brittany. So I am left here at home. Kids are out playing, and I've got kind of a honeydew project that I was meaning to do a long while back when I did that surprise visit to Arizona. It's the garage. We have a tornado of a garage. Check this out. Look at 
Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's all my climbing gear from Zion. So I'm gonna show you the before you just saw, and then I'm gonna show you the after. So I'm gonna clean this place up. The weather's starting to get cold, so I wanna bring the cars in the garage, but I also wanna leave their bikes accessible without them having to scratch our cars. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean the garage right now. Yeah, let's make it look good. Surprise for Lindsay when she gets home. Well, progress so far. We have a lot of stuff. Do you guys ever just ever look at your house and sometimes the areas you just don't really pay attention to and you just think, how did I get so much stuff? Especially stuff you don't even use. But anyway though, we're making good progress. We got a lot of summer stuff we need to put away, probably stored in the basement. We got all these bikes we need to put back in the bike rack over here. All my climbing gear over there that we need to put away. But we're getting there. Hi guys. Hello! <laughs> we are shopping with Girls all night. our children and we're going to go eat dinner and probably get some ice cream. And we're going to do a fashion show and I'm so excited. <laughs> fashion show, fashion show with lunch. Oh no. <laughs> Team cheerleader. So are we too old to know that? Is that like a little what a young show? What movie is that from? I'm trying to remember. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. <laughs> Brittany's showing us how to dress fancy. That's that so really cute. cute. I love like that. that. Try this on. And black goes with everything. And I'm wearing another jacket of Brittany's because it's kind of cute. so cute. Ooh, she it's cute. I love the back. Let's get in front of the mirror here. This is the lit mirror. I'm so lit right now. <laughs> it's cute on you. Dress it up or dress it down. I just love Ooh, I kind of do like this. Is that cut right there? So it is really cute. Okay, I'm the third person trying on this exact same jacket because on that, if one royal. person tries it, we all have to try it. Yes. <laughs> Just pass it around, guys. I need to get a smaller size. Ooh, I love that. It's small, I love <gasps> I think this one feels dressier. This one? Uh-huh. And it's like you could wear something thick under it and something thin. That's fun. We've got green. We've got cold. We've got open. <laughs> We've got <laughs> They're showing us all the different ways you can wear it. Look at these babes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know between this and this. Oh wow, look at one foot in front of the other. Oh wow. <laughs> you guys, I missed my calling line. This is what happens when you go out and have fun. <laughs> Guys, it definitely helps to have some devices in the garage to lift up your big things that you use but don't use often but take up a lot of space. So check these things out. They're called My Lifters. Daniel Matson from Dan and Shell. He can speak to these because he actually works for this company, but these are pretty cool. This actually lifts my Jeep up into the air. So I'm gonna show you this here in a second. This is Ava's Jeep. And also Lindsay's bike will go up here as well. Look how that stores, isn't that awesome? I am done. You guys, why have we not shopped with Britt more? She's like a personal shopper. She just keeps coming around the corner with oh, more shoot. options. Like, this is like more coat. Like, they'll have heavy that. That one is, that's like a dress. And that's really color. pretty. I have a white one that's kind of like that. But this is the same one, but in black. And this one doesn't have a tie. Oh, yeah. yeah this is more like a coat. I have one that's similar to this, though. Brittany's turn. It, okay. I love I it. I don't think it looks similar. No. Not at all. I like the shoulder. <laughs> I like the little, <laughs> like a linebacker. <laughs> I think it's pretty. The color is really pretty, but the shoulders, the shoulders are a little they're bit. Going. They're coming back. Shoulder pads. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at these Look shoulders. At that so wow. <laughs> Just brought Brittany to Lululemon and made her try on our very, very favorite legging, the Align pant. And look how cute they are on her. Just do a little spin. And I love that jacket. It's so soft. That's really cute. Guys, somebody just said that Mindy and I look like sisters. What do you think? I see it. Brown hair, brown eyes.
I, ooh, I think it's way cute. Now, I have had to stack things along the wall, but it's honestly stuff that's gonna end up in the boat anyway. Like wetsuits, life jackets, those will go on the boat. The big boat too, that'll go on the boat. These are all our wakeboards, surfboards, and knee boards. Car seat stuff over here. I don't know why we have so many car seats, but you never know when we're gonna have to carry a kid around. Lawn chairs over here, or camping chairs. We have one, two, three strollers. And then back here, we've got all the kids' bikes. Landon's four-wheeler, which he loves. All the bikes over here. We've got our bikes up here with the Jeep. The kayak up there, which is on the My Lifter. We've got our Yakima box up here, which we'll put on top of the van when we go on road trips. Kids' kayaks over here. Summer stuff over here. We'll probably put this in the basement, but honestly, if the van will fit in here, I don't mind leaving it here throughout the rest of the winter. Climbing gear up here, camping gear up here, and then just tools and whatnot over here. All right guys, when we first bought this truck, we bought it to pull the boat, and I thought for sure it would fit easily in the garage with all the bikes over here. So check this out, look how close this is over here. Pretty close, right? I mean, I got the sensors on the front of the truck, but I'm not hitting anything. Close, right? But it's just enough space for them to open up that door. Let's check this out. Look how close that is. The van's pretty similar. Anyway guys, the cold weather is coming, and we now have a garage back, so when we get up early in the morning, when I get up early to go to the gym, my truck will be here, nice and warm. Lindsay's van, nice and warm. So yeah, honeydew list, checked off. Dinner time! Dinner time! Back the girls! Woo! <laughs> Vinny's really, really excited for that. So I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat. And I was like, it doesn't matter what I order, I'm not gonna like it because I'm so undecided. She was dead on. I ordered chicken parmesan pizza style. It's literally a pizza chicken. chicken pizza. It looks really appetizing. In fact, do you want to know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the fried macaroni and cheese that made oh, all of us get food my poisoning. Gosh, that like makes my mouth water and like... I can smell it. It smells just... <laughs> this is like a trigger for me. But me, on the other hand, I got one of my go-tos, which is chicken Bellagio. She's kind of jelly, I can you tell. Guys, she picks her food like she picks her nail color. It's always the same. <laughs> <laughs> I tried ordering the tuna poke tonight, and they were out of it. I tried going for blue nail polish. Didn't happen. Dun, dun, dun. I know. <laughs> you guys, this is flat chicken. And then Brady got some bang, bang, chicken and shrimp. Bang, bang. All right, now that we've had a chance to kind of, you know, give the little chicken pizza, a chance. I'm looking at the menu to see what else I can open. 